Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the super secret hidden unlisted video of a Nissan Rogue that has uh, strut mount clunky noises and we're replacing the uh, the mounts and the bearing plates at the top of the struts. So uh, we just finished uh, the other side over on part one. We are now moving over here to part two to uh, pull this second strut out and change the uh, bearing plate. All right, let's start with the little things. We need some a uh, little bit of lube on this everywhere. Can't have too much lube on most occasions. I mean, it happens, but usually the more the merrier. Let's lube up our big nut, get this thing off as quickly as possible. That was efficient. And since we know we've got to lose it, let's see, let's get the uh, lower ball joint nut. This should go a little easier on the second side because now I know the order of operations that need to be followed, kind of. Let's get this guy out of here. Loud noises. Got it. All right, somewhere again. Okay, everything is disconnected. It's all hanging and dangling loose like. Let's uh, get this ball joint out. Come here. It's almost out. A little bit more wiggling. Should be good here. Almost there. Come on, you. I don't want to fight. I fought with your uh, counterpart on the other side. I don't want to fight over here. Got it. It has achieved freedom. All right, we're looking good here. I've got uh, my hanger on standby for when it's time. The spindle is loose from the axle and the lower ball joint. And uh, now I can start uh, tappy tapping this off with the strut and we can pull the strut out. Just like last time, uh, loud noises. Here we go. Flashlight grabbing, but I got it. It's off. All right. Now I can pull the strut out. We've got one bolt up in the top of it. Once that is gone, it's free, and we'll head over to the press. Got it. We can see. Hope the camera fix it up. Same kind of motion out of this one. This bearing plate's allowing the strut to move around. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's get this guy set up in the press. More non-blondes again. Hey. good kind of this one slip that in there that's good that's good let's go ahead and run it down and begin compressing feels good all right we can see here that the strut is now free of the spring and uh, now we can disconnect the bolt up at the top. Hopefully I won't have to put spring pressure back on it to uh, get this bolt to come out. What do you think? Fail. Need more 
friction. Calling people's cars junk. Alrighty, new bearing plate. It's going in right there. Silent click. Okay, we're gonna do this the same way we did the other side. Get this thing installed. And then I'll use pliers to pull the shaft up until I can start the threads. Oh, and of course, got the floor jack here to uh, hold the weight of the strut while I maneuver things. Super sketchy, very scientific. Because he's complaining about gas money. Not even going that fast. I, I know he's he wasn't physically traveling fast, but if you're worried about gas money, keep your foot off the pedal. That's like rule number one. Like it literally, we just had that conversation. About, about, about people money. People money. And here comes Pete with a completely irrelevant comment. Oh, oh no, I lost my new bearing plate. I'm in an awkward position now. What have I done? Oh, I found it. It's up here. Silly me. I still hear him. Pressure, I release you. All right, struts ready to go back in. Let's go ahead and put it up and do its home here. Got, we hold it up with one hand, other hand's threading the bolt. Fatigue, lazy fatigue. <laughs> Got it. Alright, I'll go ahead and get the other two bolts in. Stay 
table. Hey, more flashlight gravity. Never fails. Woohoo! All right, that's secure-ish. Let's go ahead and turn this some. Now we're straight again. Good. Okay, let us begin the arduous and delicate task of putting this back together. Come out of there. I'm getting a little tired. Still not feeling tippy top on top of the world. Going on like day three or four. Low energy, kind of tired, a few body aches and pains. Uh, no sinus or respiratory stuff, which is odd for me because usually whenever uh, I got a bug going on, I always get a, a sinus response out of it, but uh, not this time. All right, shaft. We can get the axle shaft inside of the bearing a little bit. That helps. Just like before. And again, we've got the control arm. It's under there now, giving a little bit of up pressure. Not much, I need to, oh, lost it. Need to pry bar it down. Oh yeah, slide that up there, that's good. Pry bar gravity. All right, I got it. Pry bar has the weight. All right, let's see what I can do about this here. Right, let's wiggle it around until it goes in. We're close, we've got the tip. There it goes. A little bit of encouragement, we got it. Okay, let's run the bolt through. Oh, impact gun, where are you? Go ahead and get the ball joint bolt in. There it is. Thread now. Uh oh, I have found an error. I have uh, inadvertently routed this ABS wire behind the strut. And I'm not taking that back out again, so I'm just gonna unbolt it and rerun it. See, that's thinking outside of the box. Mm -hmm. You go there, you go right there. And then this guy plugs back into its recess down here. Click. Okay, time for loud noises with the assault hammer. Let's go ahead and run this up and uh, get it seated in its home. 
loud noises. What? Okay, we need to align this strut with the, with the knuckle. Remember the notch on the back that aligns them. We've got to get that in its proper orientation. I think that's it. Back to more loud noises. A little bit more. Caption, we're there. Actually, you know what? I like I like it this way better. Angly for my impacty bits. Click. All right, ABS line, you go in there. Brake line, you go right here where you came from. Do 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 do. There it is. Uh, let's see. Brake line retainer clip. Socket hammer. Pry bar, where is it? I win. Complete. Beautiful, we're good to go here. All right, fellas. Uh, last thing for me to do is to uh, tighten up this bolt later on for the torque wrench and uh, uh, recot or pin it, throw the wheels on, and we're good to go here. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this super secret hidden bonus video for right now. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. I wanna let you know that I appreciate you being here all the way to the end of this video. Since you are here all the way to the end, I'm gonna assume you like this video. If in fact my assumption is correct, you know what to do. Tap, tap that like button down below. And also, before I go, as always, I have to remind each and every one of you to not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Do, 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 do. Send it. Torque it. Click. All right, I know I already signed out and everything, but there's no way I was gonna leave without at least uh, test driving this so we all could hear the absence of that clunkety clunk noise that was coming from the left front. Backing up, Ziato. Hey, so far so good. Okay, first obstacle is this speed bump. It's gonna tell us everything we need to know. Nice. We'll do a couple sweeping turns through the lot here. I hear no creaky noise. Beautimus. All right, one quick spin around the block and this one's done, so see you guys later.